The short north is growing in leaps and bounds, and it's being noticed across the country. I think it's great. I think it'll finally give us a little street cred city-wise. Uh, I know a lot of us, a lot of, lot of the country thinks of us as a flyover state and cow tippers. Uh, what's it like living in the short north? It's awesome. Um, I mean, there's so much to do. It's very diverse. This New York Times article calls this 14 block area an artsy and scrappy neighborhood that's defying the economic downturn. Anyone who owns a business in the short north can tell you how important an article like this can be for attracting a wider audience. We are frequently looked at as a role model, and that's very exciting for a community that just 25 years ago was kind of considered the armpit of Columbus. John Angelo, director of the Short North Alliance, says the article was perfectly timed with the new Hilton opening in a month and some multi-million dollar construction projects that'll transform vacant properties along High Street. I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, you know, I've been here since 93 and it's always been like a thriving, you know, supportive little art community. Angelo says grassroots groups made long-term commitments to the area and now they've reached a tipping point with new people wanting to invest. It's a place that you can feel comfortable being yourself. It's really diverse, um, but at the same time interesting. There's people that come in from all parts of you know America and they brag about it to all their friends. In the short north, Rick Reitzel, NBC4.